Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's start off this one by going back in time. Okay, remember growing up how special Christmas was? You'd sit there next to the tree all excited over all the packages that had your name on them. What could be under there? You know, just trying to contain your excitement not to rip the presents open right then and there. Of course, then your stepdad would call you over and it'd be time for naked photos with Santa. I need to, um, repress another memory. This might be a while. Then, on Christmas morning, you get to run downstairs and start to open up all the crap you had gotten. The presents you were really after were the new video games. You got to see what you added to your collection. Would it be awesome ones? Like, all right, Super Mario World. Or would they be another type of game? A type of game that was more akin to piles of caterpillar diarrhea. Games like Fisher Price, I can remember. What the hell? Most of the time, your parents would give you the cool games, or Santa Claus would. And your relatives that didn't play video games and perpetually thought you were four years old, like your Aunt Gertrude, would give you this. Why do you still think I'm a four-year-old, you demented old bat? Okay, so this is Fisher Price I can remember for the NES, and it's basically the game Memory. You've all known that game. It's that stupid game with the little cards with the pictures on them that your toddler begs you to play because he knows you're going to let him win. Now, if the game itself isn't bad enough, this time around on the NES, you get that game plus one of the most god-awful soundtracks I have ever heard in a game. This soundtrack is so bad it will make you want to stuff Christmas bulbs in your ear. Alright, so here's the object of the game. There are three rounds. At the end of each round, you try to get the most points by matching the most pictures. He who has the most points at the end of the three rounds becomes the winner of the game. Pretty simple, right? Well, yeah, it's for three-year-olds, and it should be simple and easy, but guess what? It is so boring that no small child could stand and play this game for more than 15 seconds. Remember, most three-year-olds still get distracted by shiny things jingling in front of them. So, why would a programmer try to program a video game that would have little or no action to occupy their already incredibly short attention span? I mean, if you are a parent and you want your kids to learn about video games, here's a thought. Start with Mario. So I just decided before I close the review to show what I thought would be the only difference between the three difficulty levels, and that's just the number of cards you have to get through before you clear the level. But holy hell, was I wrong. When you have it on level three, not only do you have more pictures to remember, but the computer gets way too tough for any child to actually play against and win. Let me tell you, it beat the crap out of me. What was that? I mean, what were they thinking? Oh, let's make a game for small children, but if they put it on hard, we're going to have them go up against Commander Data. What logical sense does that make? I'm an adult and I can't beat this thing. I don't know how a kid would win except for the fact that he gets super frustrated and Aunt Gertrude would yet again ruin another Christmas. Well, that's Fisher Price I can remember. Is it boring? Well, yes. Is it fun? No! Are you happy you got to stick Auntie in that crooked state-run nursing home and then burn her house to the ground? Well, yes I am! The only other thing I want to say is that if you wanted your kids to play a memory game, why not just buy them the game Memory? It's a hell of a lot more fun than this pile of baboon mucus! <laughs>